This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, brought to you via YouTube. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to our YouTube page, with the promise in the future that at different times we'll have subjects that are only available to those who subscribe. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. Small mum and pop style distilleries and breweries could be a thing of the future here in Thailand after the House passed a highly controversial bill that could see the current almost monopoly held by major companies diminish. This is an ongoing effort and has been knocked back several times in the past as currently only the biggest of boys can play in the booze creation playground, making it impossible for micro-businesses to operate legally. Ownership of a still in Thailand requires a license from the excise department and currently any setup has to be a company with a minimum of 10 million baht capital and proved that it can produce upwards of 30,000 litres a day of spirits and for breweries, 10 million litres a year, effectively making it impossible for startups to be legal. Unless the bill becomes law, even microbreweries that only sell on site in their own premises must currently produce a million litres annually. But the proposed changes could see a festoon of new and popular small brands hitting the shelves legally, whilst pricing for specialist beer could plummet to half the current prices. As online registration for growers of cannabis plants for personal medical use was launched yesterday, so the app quickly crashed as it was overloaded by upwards of 100,000 wannabe legal growers. That, we're told, has been resolved, and as the initial rush dwindles, it's expected to be able to handle applications with ease. With that certification, householders can legally grow weed, but not for commercial use or resale. For that, the licensing is quite a bit more tricky and has to be approved by officials at the Public Health Ministry. A planned 300 baht tourist fee, which would have been added to flight costs for arrivals here, has been delayed by the state until toward the end of the year. This is today sees the CCSA considering the closure of the Thailand Pass application required for tourists. And on the same day that Bangkok's main airport claims to have implemented changes and added staff, to overcome the reported huge delays seen at times due to the increase in passenger counts there. And chances are that Chachin Sao province will see more and more wild crocodiles, causing fear along the Bang Pakong River over the next decades. This, as several have been spotted, and signs of more discovered, all blamed on lazy crocodile farmers. It's been reported that in many cases those farmers have ignored their escape and poorly maintained barriers as the market for crocodile meat and skin has dropped. A recent attack on an elderly woman who was netting for crayfish has seen local village headsmen estimating the crocodile population may already run into four figures. Meanwhile at home and in patio with elections being reheld in two boroughs this weekend, it's fully expected that alcohol outlets will be ordered to close for 24 hours, as is the law in Thailand. The re-vote due to reported missing ballot boxes only affects a small proportion of the city and there is just a chance that the normal ban might be ignored or not put into effect. For barkeepers, clubs and even restaurants, the delay to a firm answer is seen as slightly unfair. But with no one officially at the helm of City Hall yet, a definitive answer hadn't been given even by this morning. And with Megan replacing the news with our What's On guide over the weekend, and the Met Office promising another scorcher, highs of 33, lows of 29, and a sunny, humid day, along with a good chance of rain at some point. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.